Good morning, Raider fans. This is the Raider Nation podcast, and I'm your host, Raider Greg. And yes, I am back with another part two series of the pre-Eagle game. And if you can tell by my voice, I'm pissed. I'm pissed at Andy Reid. I'm pissed at the Eagles. I'm pissed at the three minutes and 28 seconds that their press conference was. I'm still pissed about that. That is so disrespectful. I can't even tell you. Well, I'm just telling you fans to fire up because I am fired up. We're 0-2. we got to win this game. And I don't mean got to. we got to beat this Eagle team and make a statement. I don't mean by 27-23 to 23, like one of my listeners said. I think we should be beating them by 32 points to... You know, 16, 34-16. <clears throat> Excuse me. We need to make a statement here in the AFC that we are not to be joked with. You know, they worry about Lamont Jordan, like I said, Randy Moss. Uh, they're talking about uh, Norv Turner's offensive plays because he's played with them, played against them so many times. You can't prepare for some coach's plays with different players. Now, the Eagles do one thing very well, and that's third down plays. They do third down plays like nobody's business. They have more completions on third down, third and long, third and short, than I think any other team. They're very good at the third down, and that's where we have to stop these guys. Now, I know our team's going to be fired up. You have to be fired up. And all you Raider fans going to the Eagle game, you got to be wearing your bulletproof vest because that's just like taking a an Eagles jersey and going to the, the black hole in the Oakland Coliseum. They are fierce. They're fierce. They're fierce fans. They're nasty fans. It's the only, Colise- it's the only uh, football venue that I know of that has a courthouse in it. Yes, they have a judge. They have cops. They have attorneys. And if you get caught at the Eagles Stadium, the Lincoln Center, you will go down and see the judge. You'll get fined or sentenced right there in the in the stadium. You ain't going to no jail because they got a jail right there. So that'll give you an idea of how intense the Eagle fan situation is. When you have a judge on site in order to prosecute somebody, it's pretty nasty. This is a hostile environment, Raider fans, and we have to really get our mojo going right now. we got to pump it up for the Raiders and the Raiders they got to be quiet and deadly. They have to stop the Eagles on these third down conversions big time. They got to make sure that they control Westbrook and they got to get a bump on Owens. He's not the only one that they're going to throw the ball to. He's not the only one they do throw the ball to. However, he is the big long ball threat and he's the one that McNabb gets away in the pocket, scrambling, boom, touchdown. We need to put pressure on the quarterback and keep their pressure off our quarterback's back. That's what they're going to do. The offensive line, they're young. Like I said at the beginning of the season, they will get better as games go on, and we are ready. We're primed to break out. This could be the Raider breakout right here. We could break out in this game and make it totally happen. So Raider fans, I don't want you to be down. Uh, Last night I had a couple glasses of wine. I was a little bit low and slow, but this morning I'm ready to go, 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 and I think the Raiders are ready to go to and take it to the Eagles. I'll tell you one thing. When the game is over and said and done, the Eagles are going to know that they scrapped with a hell of a team because these Oakland Raiders are hungry, we're hungry, and we're pissed. Bad combination for any other team, especially when you come out 0-2. You've got to make a statement, and I'm sure... All the Raider players are serious. I, not that they weren't serious before, but there's a whole new sheriff in town. These guys got to put it together. We don't want to be going you know, 0-3. And I know what you're thinking. This is a tough, tough venue. Yes, it is. But there's no reason these Oakland Raiders cannot go in there and defeat the Eagles and deflate the fans right away in the first couple, first, first downs, first series. There's no reason we can't go in there and put up some points and put up some points right away. Our special teams, they have to really get it together. They really have to get it together. There's not a huge threat on the special teams on the run back. 
That should help us out a lot because field position is going to be a key point in this game. We need to keep off that third and 20, that second and 15, that second and 18, the third and 18. you got to stay away from that stuff, and penalties have got to be zero. Not one, not five, none. we got to have no penalties on this game because this game is crucial. And if we can, at least if we go in there and we lose and we have no penalties and we play a decent game, hey, you know what? Not that I'm going to be fully satisfied, but I'll be satisfied. I'll be satisfied with the, the, the team if they put 100% into it because the Eagles, the Eagles are going back to the Super Bowl, from what I can see. They got all the stuff to do it, and they got everything going their way. They lost a fluke game to the Falcons, which they can do again. If we play like the Falcons played, our offense is better than the Falcons' offense. Our offense has much more power than the, than the Falcons. Our defense can totally do the same thing the Falcons did to McNabb. And like I said the last podcast, we got to pump and beat and push and shove Owens all over that five yards before he gets outside of that five yards. We cannot be afraid of him and let him have a 10-yard lead because if we do that, he's going to eat us up. He's going to chew us up and spin us out. I hope... I hope Ryan's ready for that because that's this uh, Falcons game was a great game to see the Eagles get worked. Now, they're injured. They got a lot of injuries. Westbrook's got a bad knee. Uh, their offensive line's good. It's holding McNabb pretty good. But you have to understand, too, they played the Niners, and they put a lot of points on the board, a lot of work out there on the field. Uh, they're not going to be so peppy in this game, I do not believe. I believe there's a lot of soreness and a lot of stuff they left on the field last game, and we have got to come and take advantage of that. We did the same thing at Kansas City, but we didn't get no injuries other than Curry, which is a bummer. But everyone else is pretty healthy. we got to get in there and get the job done. I think we can do it, Raiders. You know, send those kudos out to our team. 66 Mob, get on out there. I know you were out there when the team left. So there you go, Oakland Raiders. So just remember, you guys have a great day on Sunday. I will be out in force with my beer and my barbecue. So Raider fans, have faith in our team. Have faith in the, in the like I said, in the character of our team. Our team has great character. This is the time we need to gel with that character. Everybody's starting to work together. Everyone's starting to know each other. Collins, suck it up, baby. Get it together. You can do it. You can do this. You've played the Eagles before. These guys were division rivals. It was a big deal when the Giants played the Eagles. And you guys, you of all people, should know how they play. You just got to play better. You can't be conservative in this this game there's no conservatism in the eagles raider game we got to go out and take it down we got to take it to them more aggressive than we did with kansas city we got to be more aggressive and we have to use moss when we can we should have no more last plays of the game without throwing the ball to randy moss i don't know how many raider fans i've talked to that said we had four downs we didn't throw the ball to him one time absolutely that was not good. Turner, get it together. He's a star player. you got to give the guy an opportunity to make a play. He's our playmaker. Give him the ball in key situations like that. Give it a try. That's why we pay him. That's what we got to do. That's what we're going to do. And on Monday, I'll be giving you the post game, and I pray that it's a victory for the Raiders so that we can all get all pumped up again. Because I know, Raider fans, we've heard it from many other fans, you guys hang in there no matter what. Well, that's absolutely right. Absolutely right. We hang in there no matter what our team does, and that's what we are. We're Raider fans. And we can be disappointed, we can be disillusioned, but we're never going to be disconnected from our team because this is our team, and we have to root them on. 
And this team is a great team. It's a great team. The greatness of the Raiders will prevail. We will be victorious. And we will gel, like I've said. Let's just hope it's on this game. Let's pray on this game because this could be a huge turning point in our team. But a huge turning point in the season. So get out there and root for your team, no matter where you are, Raider fans. If you're going to go to the Eagles Coliseum or the Eagles Stadium, Lincoln, good luck. Wear your bulletproof vest because it's a very hostile environment. And just root on your team. Okay, Raider fans, it's great talking to you. I am out. Thank <laughs> you.